All right, certainly hope everyone's having a great day. I know it's hot out there and it feels even hotter as we just take a look at some of these feels like temperatures when you walk out the door. Bishopville, things are actually feeling OK for you. Feels like 88 for you there. Feels like 87 Chester and Winsboro now. And anytime you have a temperature that's coming in under 90 at this point in the day in the summer, you're actually doing pretty good out there. So we do have a couple of decent spots out there. Now the mugginess, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. We're actually going to go from just being muggy and humid all the way up to very humid and oppressive for a little bit as we get into this upcoming weekend. These are going to be some of the hottest temperatures we've seen this year and the hottest heat indices we've seen, which is an indication of the dew points going up very high. That's a measure of how much moisture is in the air and there's plenty of it out there. When you get a southern wind or a southwesterly wind coming up, that's what ushers in that moisture flow. That moisture is what keeps it kind of sticky outside that that heavy air air you can wear. We've got plenty of it. We're going to keep it around and as we look ahead just to our temperatures. Now these are the actual air temperatures that we're expecting 93 for you this afternoon 95 as we head into your Thursday and then into Friday and Saturday and into Sunday and Monday we get a bit of a push a higher push of air more moisture hotter temperatures. So within Friday to about Monday and Tuesday, this is going to be a very high push of air. We're going to be pushing very warm temperatures and very high humidity values. We do have a first alert weather day that we put in place for you on Friday. As of right now, I see that being the day with the highest heat index value, but all of these days can be dangerous. All of these days you have to watch out for. I am expecting the heat index value for later today, probably getting up to about 97, certainly not as bad as it could be tomorrow, probably about 100 maybe about 102 Friday as high as 107 and then somewhere between 105 to 106 for your Saturday and Sunday numbers. I know you'll be out and about. You'll be out in things doing things for the weekend. Just make sure you're staying cool. You're staying hydrated and you're respecting the heat. But you know we're getting to the point where we're getting used to this type of heat as we go through the season. And just in case I hadn't told you yet, we have not seen a 100 degree day. I mean the actual air temperature. The temperatures have been below 100 every day this year. We had five days last year that did get to 100 and above. And in 2021, we didn't have any 100 degree days there either. So now could we get some cooling relief from a shower? We could probably won't get one today, but maybe tomorrow rain chances at 20% and then about 30% for your Friday, Saturday at about 40% and 30% Sunday. So as we look at the temperatures, the, it's just going to be a hard struggle for us to get some rainfall that's going to bring our temperatures down consistently. This will be temporary. Any rain that does come down, you certainly should be happy for it because it's going to cool you down temporarily. That first alert weather day in place for us Friday as we start a stretch of days which will have heat index values over 105 and into your weekend we're going to be tracking higher temperatures higher humidity and higher heat index values.